Hey everybody, my name is Ace Pangirl and welcome back to another episode of AI The Somnium Files. In the last one, we went and talked to So, got a whole lot of nothing. We came and talked to Mama, got a whole lot of nothing, but less her fault. I don't blame her. Um, because we still don't know where Renju is. Mama doesn't know. She did say to come back tonight. Somebody might know though, so let's, we'll, we'll see if we can do that. And, uh, we're gonna go talk to Hitomi. Woohoo! You're, uh, literally, you're caught up. That was that was the re the recap. Nothing happened. <laughs> it's very sad. Anyways, girl, let's see if she's here. She is here. Girl, I do you work? apologize for yesterday. It's good. Uh, is it summer? No, it's like November, isn't it? I arrived uninvited. Oh, you thought you were in my house. No, it's cool. Don't worry about it. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. Yes. No, I didn't do anything. All right, let's look through her entire house. It's the front door. It's a shoebox. Oops, sorry, I looked at it twice. It's a calendar and a strange object. Wind shelf. Clock. Bookshelf. There are no books in it, but it's definitely a bookshelf. Like a ski resort with no skiers. The lights are off. Bookshelf. A lot of dishes. Microwave. I bet you're gonna fall up with a fridge joke. Date, a riddle. Yes. A man-eating alligator lives in a river. Okay. There are no bridges or boats. Mm hmm. How do you cross? I don't. Well, let's see. You jump across. Wrong. Oh. The solution is simple. You just swim across. Oh, if you're a woman. But what about the man-eating alligator? He's at a convention out of town. <laughs> He isn't in the river. Okay. Thanks, Iva. Uh. Uh. So silly. Love my dumb bitch. Dining table. Love it. Door. Ceiling fan. Telephone. Blooming winter iris. Supposed to be a sign of good news and hope. Cushion. I've been wondering about that picture. Oh. Iris drew it when she was 12. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Yes. And who's on the right? The man I was dating at the time. Mm. It was only for three months, but... I met him about six years ago. Oh. Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? Yeah. I was praying there one day, and I heard a voice. Well... More like a groan. Behind the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. Oh no. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist and he held me and then he kissed me. Okay, that's a little weird and also assault. I was shocked, but when I stared into his eyes, Then I heard footsteps, and then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance, and don't call the cops. Okay. I knew he had to be a criminal, so I took him to an underground clinic I knew. Yeah, because I just, I just know those things. You took him to a mob doctor? Renju's friend. I only met him once. More? Even though oh we God, had our so first much. kiss seconds after meeting each other. Wow, I haven't even like said hi or like how's it going, caught up with her at all, and she's just telling me all this really personal stuff about her life. I feel a little bit bad. It took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched the horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. Aww. A zombie jumped out and scared us, and he clung onto my arm. He had that cute side to him, and I was falling in love. More? Our second oh kiss was in the car. Wow, this is so personal. Like, I'm like, girl, it's okay. You don't have to relive all this with me. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse. 
and kissed. Was it a cold storage warehouse? Just wondering. I don't think we ever said I love you. But we both knew. We were getting closer and closer. I introduced him oh my to God. Iris about a month after I first met him. She's Iris so never had a father figure in her life before. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Everything felt so fresh. Every day was so exciting. This is nice. Oh, sorry. You asked about the picture. Mm. You wanted to make Okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. <sighs> Iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I put an Okonomiyaki on their heads, too. Plop, plop. Aww. I added the Benito flakes and mayo and sauce. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. I bet. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. And then we realized that we had to clean it up, and we stopped laughing. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. But those days didn't last. Oh. Six years ago, in November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time. But my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him, and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. And that's probably what we saw in our dream, weirdly. They were both arrested and incarcerated. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. I don't know the details, but it was awful so he became a target for underworld criminals i don't know exactly why but i know that he betrayed them in some way mm. may i ask you something okay wow we're still going of course i had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong oh that's not true i lied about it at the time because of mizuki Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. Mm, that makes sense. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. It was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. If she found out about his past... That's fair. There's a drawing on the wall. Iris drew it when she was 12. All right, we're done. So that's all the info we're gonna get there. That was that was a lot. There's a lot to unpack there. See the trees and sky outside. Not sure if any of it is important. Some tea on the coffee table. Steam is rising from the tea. There are some elementary workbooks, but looking closely, one in the middle is different. How to handle a monster parent. Uh-oh. And a self-help book. Yeah, honestly. Respect for teachers. There are pineapples growing in the corner. That's what I thought anyway, but then I realized it was just a plant. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Speaker system. Nice. All right. Woo! Hi, girl. Tommy's sitting on the sofa. Sorry that I made you get into, like, all of that really personal stuff and made you talk for, like, ten minutes without even saying, how are you? Yeah, it's Monday, isn't it? School day? I was asking that myself. <laughs> Today's a holiday. Oh, is it? I suppose there's never a day off for a detective. Oh, but you aren't a detective, right? Mm. Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. Mm -hmm. I see. Today is a holiday. Is it? You forgot too, didn't you? For sure. 
Honestly, so relatable. Um, let's talk about Iris first before we get into the hard-hitting questions. I put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. People didn't take kindly to that. Yeah. But Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. I remember, one time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting me. Yeah, she seems like a feisty one. Uh, what about your parents? They died when I was 17. Oh, damn. I was an orphan, and my relatives lived far away. They might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here, by myself. And take care of Iris. Yes, all alone. But Renju would help sometimes. Well, he was a shitty parent to his own kids, so I hope he did better with yours. Oops, sorry, I looked at the couch. Um, about Iris, anything else you want to share? It was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues, zoos, amusement parks. Just me and her. Until your boyfriend. Sorry, maybe we should have talked about this first. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. Hmm. It was called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. Uh, do you mean Sailor Moon? She loved singing and dancing, even as a kid. Whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. And she did it at the show, too. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. Aww. I tried to stop her, of course. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. Even I was dancing by the end of it. Aww. He's a good kid. When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. Honestly is. I don't know. She's changed much. Uh, anything else to say? Whenever she sees someone playing music dance. on the street, she'll run up and join them, right then and there. Music at the train station, the crosswalk beeping. Even at convenience stores, when their little chime played, she would start dancing. Aww. It almost got her into trouble once. Oh, really? She was on the jungle gym, and a truck drove by. It was playing loud music out the windows. She climbed up to the top and started dancing. But she lost her balance and fell. Oh no! She fractured her leg pretty badly. Oh my god. It was on a Sunday, and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Can I still dance? Aww. She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, that's not true. There was one other time. Yeah? What was the other time? Oh. You don't want to talk about it. Six years ago. Oh. I was the victim of a shooting. Right. After the surgery, Iris came in running. And she was sobbing. She's so cute. Please don't die, mommy. Don't die. <laughs> I swore to myself then that I would protect her no matter what. Iris is everything to me, more important than my own life. Good mom. Okay, where's Renji, though? Did the... something happen to him? Bruh. You asked me that yesterday. Uh, there's no point hiding it. I told her about Renji's disappearance and his car accident. Right from the hospital? Yes, he's gone. I'm sorry. I have no idea. Oh. Damn. 
okay. Summarize oh. for me then. I guess. Date, we can't spend time reminiscing. We spent a lot of time talking about that picture. We have to get moving. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we gotta go. Uh, she's touching her right shoulder. All right, bye, Queen. I gotta go. I'm gonna go find your your daughter. Okay, I'm gonna go find your daughter. Up, girl. I'm so aggro right now. Oh my god. Who says that? Nobody. Why are you angry? You backed out on your shovel forge promise. In my defense, I thought you were dead. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. Okay, don't say that too loud. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight? And you didn't even take me anywhere. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. We could have gone somewhere. Iturup, Kunashir, Shikotan, Habamai? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Okay, well, maybe that's well, fair. Uh... I've been busy, girl. I got murder to solve. All right. Nobody heard any of that, right? Probably not, except I for- I should lose some weight. I didn't say so fat. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have gotten that one. Monitor, a plant. Dante, look! Girl, what do you see today? What do you see? It's a terraphila camelifolia. Look! I'm sorry, a what? Yay! Yay! Go, terraphila camelifolia! Yeah, go! She gets awfully excited about insects. I, girl, I don't know what that is. Special, how to make good soba. Bring that one home for later. Yeah. Our high stools. Oh, it's a high table. Uh huh. Date, I don't understand. What about it? You want me to say hi to this table? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not what I said. Vending machine. Girl, no. You're fine. Door. It's probably an office. Promotional videos. It's Shinsen Chatran. Yep, that's that's who they Who's are. Who's that? Logo. Lemniscate. Reception desk. Hi, queen. Don't worry. I'll be right back for you, baby. Um, plant. Yeah, who is what? Okay, guys, what's the name of the painting? Somebody tell me. Like it? Yeah. It's called Fisherman Shagging a Common Dandy. Okay. It's always got fish and rugs somehow, I feel like. Maybe not the rugs, but definitely always the fish. All right, queen. Oh, I love that we have so many things we can talk to her about. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Um, what's your type? Just deciding where to start. Wow. I was so overwhelmed by the choices. I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. Girl, I could be that for you. I cannot even picture that. I can fake it. Um, I want to know where Renju is. I want to too. Okay, we have that in common. See? Common. We've been looking for him. Do you want to go to dinner and talk about how we want to know where he is? We've been getting so many calls. It's hard to keep up with. Um, I want to know your measurements. Um, I'm 5'4". Oh my god, I'm taller than her. That is clearly not what you meant. I know. Tell me your titty size. Okay, she won't. Can I have your contact information? Um, why? So I can call you later. Well, because it may lead to something in the future. Hmm, I don't know. Aw. Date, we're on an investigation. I don't. Shh. Just let me have this. We have this one! Um, can I have your contact information? That's enough. What? I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. Girl, don't. You're gonna blow this for me. Can I have your contact information, Iba? I'm serious. I'm gonna slap my hand over my eye and keep I'm asking. I'm going to pop out. Okay, but can I have your contact information? 
Uh-oh. Iba flew out of my left eye and started dancing on the desk. The receptionist immediately fainted. Iris saw the whole thing and also fainted. And so, my story ended. The end. Ah, We didn't even get her number. Nope. But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for her information. <sighs> Fine. God, we're never gonna get anywhere. Hey, girl. Iris is looking at me. Wow. I don't know if we wanna... Um... Like, start off with that. Uh, do you have the day off? Off? It's a holiday, your mom told me. Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnisgate. As one does. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. Oh, okay, sorry, you're busy? Um, why was, why was your phone off yesterday? I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... Okay, that was the did not answer about your visitor. Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? Girl, you have to tell me. And you me. left the house as well. Where did you go? Even though you promised me you wouldn't leave. You really want to know? Yes, or I wouldn't have asked. Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer. Well. Yes. Let's not get too crazy. All right, then. Shovel Forge. Aw. No. Then go on a date with me. Aw. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Yeah, your phone is off. Objection. <gasps> Objection. Even if you did get a hold of She's me, even you pointing. didn't want to see me anyway, right? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. Okay. <sighs> Where's Renju? Do you know? What about him? I'm really looking for him. Really trying. I don't need to hide it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. A traffic accident? Yeah, it was wild. I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. Okay, well, damn, you're not helpful. Uh, do you know Sosajima? Just random. I've seen him on TV. Mm hmm Ever met him? No. Okay. Not at all. Never? No, not at all. Okay. Hey, so, um, listen, this is gonna sound absolutely insane, but I saw your body. Iris, promise you won't laugh, but I saw something at the cold storage warehouse. I mean, night. if someone told me this, I wouldn't laugh. I would freak the fuck out. What? I would think that was creepy as hell. Your dead body. Like, how's one supposed to take that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I guess it would kind of be funny, but also I'd be like, what a weird joke to play on someone, you lunatic. I told you not to laugh. But... Come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. I did notice that. Yeah. Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Stop. I'm serious. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. Okay, you're not doing yourself any favors. And here you are. You sound like a lunatic. Which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. You sound crazy. Just a little. Sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. Honestly. No, it's fine. He's crazy. Sorry for laughing. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Okay, that was easy. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Oh, shit. Another bizarre explanation. But we're never gonna come up with a better one. That isn't crazy. Alright, summarize for me. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? I thought you had to work. For our date, of course. Ugh. <sighs> no. I don't wanna. Iris, you're too young for me. Yes. 
I can't be seen with you. Oh. What? Uh oh, you hurt her feelings. <laughs> okay, see, yep, too young. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Everybody! Uh oh. This awful man! Shit. He. He. Damn, she's good. Fine, fine. I'll do whatever you want. Okay. Really? <laughs> really. Yes. Shovel Forge? Yes, we'll play Minecraft together. I will not. Why? What's wrong with Minecraft? So we'll go on a date then. God, dude, if it's between a date and Minecraft, I would play Minecraft. I mean, well, I would date her, but... Actually, wait, she's legal, right? <sighs> yes. I don't want to look, I'm afraid. Yay! It's a deal. Objection. Damn it. <laughs> and you have to honor our agreement this time. Yeah, okay. She really is a witch. Damn. She's good. Oh, but we can't go right away. Yeah, you gotta work, right? I have a recording coming up. Okay, so later. I should be done by three, though. Okay, I got one more place to go, so I can come back. Tessa, we're starting soon. Now, this receptionist was here listening to this entire thing. Got it! So, Date, meet me back here at three? Yeah, okay. If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. I can't promise that it's gonna be at three. I got shit to do, but I'll come. Anyway, bye for now. Peace. Peace. All right, bye, queen. Love you. I was smiled and strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Yeah, we might as well not wait. Let's get moving. Definitely. All right, we only have one place left to go, and we're gonna do that in the next one. Oops, sorry. I just clicked out of the window. We're gonna do that in the next one. Oh, I can't even, okay, well I can't even menu it up this time to see if we have anything new. But in the next one, we're gonna check out the crime scene in quotation marks and then maybe come back for a date. Um, either that or maybe they'll have um, number 89 ready for us to talk to. Wouldn't that be exciting? I don't know. We'll see you in the next one. I'll see you then.